now involved with Zen Haven? How did that come about, the Zen Haven Convention? Well, I was going to the convention. I started going to the convention in 87. And I went to the convention for about 10 years as a spectator. And I knew a lot of the people there and got to know a lot more. And um, we were there at the convention. And then the, the convention back then was run by the museum. And the people involved with the museum decided they weren't going to do the convention anymore. And they, they come and just said right at the end of the convention, we're well, having a convention next year. See ya. Good night. And we all kind of sat there and went, what? <laughs> now you're having a convention? What? <laughs> well, I knew um, the guy in Vegas. Uh, Valentine? Valentine, thank you. Valentine Vox. And I knew that Valentine wanted to do a convention in Vegas. And we had talked off and on about this. And I called Valentine and I said, Valentine, if you want to do a convention in Vegas, now is the time because they're not going to have one here next year. So I helped Valentine set that one all up. And we went out to Vegas. We had a great convention. Oh, it was incredible. And uh, Paul Winchell was there, and we just had a wonderful time. And then the next year, he wanted to do it all himself. And, okay, great. I don't care. Just so we have a convention. I don't care. And so uh, he did his convention that next year. And then Mark Wade and I started talking, and we got an offer from the museum that we would take the convention, and we would run the convention separate of the museum from now on. And uh, we did quite a bit of talking and planning on that. And I've been involved with them ever since. And so it's been about 14 years now. And Mark and I have worked it and, and, and <laughs> worried about it and, and that. And it's, and it's turned out to be a great convention. And the one in Vegas has since passed on. May I rest in peace. And, um, you know, it, it's, been, it's been great.